hi everybody it's tuesday and it's time for another tenants tuesday tip today i want to talk to you about pets with over three million people in the uk being a pet owner it's very very likely that some of those are going to want to rent property now historically before the tenant fee act which came in in 2019 landlords were able to ask for an additional deposit if you had a pet now they can't do that anymore the best thing you can do as a tenant is be transparent from the outset and actually detail any of your little furry friends that you want to be bringing with you. We find that's the best policy because if a landlord does not want to take a tenant on with pets, then we're not wasting anybody's time. Now, there is some debate in government at the moment about whether or not that will become unlawful. But at present, landlords can still say no to having pets in their properties. What we do as an agency, and it's something that you might want to ask agents that you're registering with or any private landlords that you may be discussing the potential rent with, is to do something very similar. So what we ask is that you complete a pet information form which details all the information about your little furry friends. Um, we ask for a photograph and also a pet CV and reference. We find that shows that you are responsible pet owners. It gives us the information that we can then share with your landlord, who then will probably more likely be happier taking a pet into a property. It is very, very difficult nowadays because obviously historically they could ask for more deposit money. But obviously we appreciate that there are a lot of pet lovers out there that do still need to find property and we want to accommodate you as best as we can. Now, if you're not sure and you want a little bit more extra advice or information about this, you can check the Dogs Trust website. Yes, I know it says Dogs Trust, but obviously the, the rules are, or the information that they supply sort of applies to most pets. Um, one of the other things is if you know, you're having a discussion with a landlord and it's looking not so great, then something you might want to suggest to them is that maybe you, you could consider taking out tenants content insurance just to cover any damage that the potential potentially could happen with the pet. Now, that's not something that a landlord can insist that you do, because that's uh, also in contravention of the Tenant Fee Act. But obviously, as a goodwill gesture, you may want to do that. Like I say, if you've got any questions or you want to discuss this or any other issue in respect to your tenancy with us, please do get in touch. Thank you. Have a great day and see you next Tuesday.